Hello, I'm Yoon Young Ko from Hanyang University. The title of my presentation is Not All Layers Are, are Equal, a Layer Wise Adaptive Approach Toward Large Scale DNN Training. Let me start. Uh, this is the table of contents. Recently, many web based applications have adapted deep learning techniques, but training a large model with web scale data is very time consuming. To speed up such a training, large batch training with data parallelism uh, has been widely applied. In the training with uh, data parallelism, the training data are split and distributed into multiple workers. And each worker computes each gradient based on each local data in parallel. Then their gradients are averaged and applied to the model of each worker. In this way, we can reduce the total number of training iterations and thus reducing the total training time. However, if the reduction of the iterations is too severe for a model to converge, it is likely to uh, degrade the model quality. To compensate for fewer iterations, learning rate scaling method uh, have been applied. Uh, it increases the learning rate to boost each gradient update to be larger. Given the model W, dataset X, and K workers, the goal of learning rate scaling can be formulated as follows. There are two widely used error scaling methods, LSW and ADA scale. LSW is a fixed learning rate scaling method. Uh, it multiplies learning rate by k when the batch size increases by k times. Uh, and LSW also adopts a learning rate warm up technique. It gradually increases learning rate from a small value to the target value. Uh, the other one is ADA scale. It is an adaptive scaling method. This method es estimates the state of the training by uh, the gradient variant, then adaptively adjusts learning rate based on the gradient variance. Uh, let me explain the motivation of this work. We observed that the gradient variance tends to increase as the model gets trained. Thus, it means that the gradient variance estimates how well the model uh, has been trained so far. Despite the success of the gradient variance scaling method, however, we observed that its model quality significantly degraded when the training with uh, very large batch sizes. From this result, we hypothesis that uh, during the training of a DNN model, the state of the training can vary across layers. Uh, it is because the parameters of a DNN model have their own roles. Thus, the information to capture from data is not equal, is not equal across layers. Uh, to verify our hypothesis, we measured the gradient variance of parameters per layer with four different batch sizes. Mm, look at this figure. 
we observe that the gradient variance tends to vary across layers, and such a difference grows as the batch size gets larger. This result indicates that the status of the training of parameters could be different depending on layers. From this ob observation, we identified uh, the limitation of existing learning rate, learning rate scaling method. Uh, it just adjusts learning rate based on the gradient variance for the entire model and applies, uh, applies the adjusted learning rate to all model parameters. In other words, it does not take into account the differences among layers. To address these limitations, we propose a novel layer-wise adaptive learning rate scaling. Our learning rate scaling considers the difference across layers in training. Our method computes the gradient variance of each layer individually and adjusts learning rate for each layer based on the computed gradient variance of uh, every layer at it, every iteration. Thus, each layer has its own learning rate at every iteration. Now, let me demonstrate the potential of our layer-wise learning, uh, learning rate scaling. We applied the layer-wise learning rate scaling to randomly selected 50% uh, and 100% of layers and train a DNN model with very large batch sizes and compare their model accuracies with the accuracy of the baseline. Uh, that means uh, 0%. It is the same as the state-of-the-art learning rate scaling method ADA scale. As clearly demonstrated in this figure, the more layers our layer-wise scaling idea is applied to, the higher the model accuracy becomes. From this result, we obtain the two important lessons. First, considering the training differences across layers is so critical in improving the model quality in large batch training. Second, the existing learning rate scaling method uh, ignore the subtle but important differences across layers. Uh, as, uh, as we observed in the previous slide, the state, the state of the training is not uniform across layers. Uh, from this understanding, we, we another, uh, we, we posit that the optimal endpoint of the warm-up may differ across layers, as described in this figure. Uh, despite the different training speed, across layers, however, the existing warm-up method does not consider such a difference. They simply apply the same warm-up period to all parameters in a DNN model. This possibly leads to the following defects. First, for the layers with fast training speed, the warm-up is likely to be applied unnecessarily long. While for the layers with slow training speeds, the warm-up is likely to be end early. In order to address these uh, limitations, we propose a uh, layer-wise state-aware warm-up technique. Our warm-up method tracks 
the state of the training for each layer individually. And then based on the uh, tracked state, determines each end point of the, of the warm up. Uh, this this is the detailed algorithm of our LENA. Uh, now, let me introduce the questions to answer in our evaluation. First, uh, model accuracy. The question is, how does LENA improve uh, the model quality? compared to the existing learning rate scaling method. Second, uh, evaluation study to verify the effectiveness of each layer-wise strategy of LENA. Lastly, uh, we evaluate the hyperparameter sensitivity. These are the experimental setups. We used two popular models and two data sets. We compared the two state-of-the-art learning aid scaling method, LSW and ADA scale. And we set the common hyperparameters as follows. First, we evaluate the quality of the model trained with each learning aid scaling method. We conducted the training with five different batch sizes and measured top one accuracy of the model and the required epochs, iterations, and time to achieve the target accuracy. Please uh, look at the red box. Uh, Lena achieves the highest accuracy when the training with the same amount of training data. And the target accuracy uh, uh, and LENA achieves the target accuracy within the first iterations and shortest time across five different batch sizes, specifically up to uh, 45.2% fewer iterations and 44.7% shorter time than the existing state-of-the-art method. That means uh, ADA scale. Furthermore, LENA successfully achieves the target accuracy even for the training with very large batch sizes, where the existing learning aid scaling method failed to achieve the target accuracy. This figure shows the model accuracy uh, according to the training progress. We can see that uh, LENA achieves the target accuracy, that means the accessing to red line. Uh, in the first iterations. In this experiment, we verify the effectiveness of the layer-wise learning aid scaling and layer-wise state-aware warm-up of LENA. Uh, we compare all combinations for three learning aid scaling methods and three possible warm-up methods. I mean, no warm up, fixed warm up, and our warm up. The table shows the result. For the same colored boxes, LENA shows the best model quality. Uh, this result verifies the effectiveness of the layer wise learning aid scaling in uh, improving the model quality. Now let me explain the effectiveness of our state-aware warm-up. For all three learning aid scaling methods, our state-aware warm-up 
improve improves the model quality more than the others. This result implies that the significant uh, degradation of the model quality can occur if not addressing the issue that the model fluctuates steeply in the early stages of large batch training. While our layer-wise state, uh, state aware warm-up successfully addresses that issue. Uh, finally, we also uh, evaluate the hyperparameter sensitivity of LENA. With a wide range of the hyperparameter alpha, LENA achieves high quality of the model. It means that this indicates that the model quality of LENA is insensitive to the hyperparameter alpha. These are the conclusions of this work. Uh, we identified the cause of the degradation of the model quality in existing uh, scaling method. Then we proposed a novel learning maze scaling method for large batch training named LENA with two strategies. Uh, by a comprehensive experiment, we showed that LENA successfully achieves the high quality of models within fewest iterations in, in training and with very large size of size up to uh, 128 times larger than the case of single worker training. Thank you so much for your listening. If you have any questions or comments, please contact me by this email. Thank you.